Welcome back to the Keaton Knife Shop. I hope you guys are ready to rock and roll because today we're going to be making a knife vise. The knife vise is one of the most crucial tools in a knife maker shop. I use a knife vise like this on every single blade that I make. It was also one of the first tools I made when I got back into making knives. So without further ado, let's get started and let's learn how to make a knife vise. The first pieces you're going to need are some bolts. I use 5 8 bolts but you can use various sizes. These bolts will be utilized to clamp the blade in the vise. I then have some miscellaneous pieces of steel that will be used throughout the project that I found lying around my shop. And then finally, I have the cage I made for my tempering oven that I no longer use because I found it was not necessary. I'll be cutting that up and using it as a frame of our knife vise. And then I had this knob from an old piece of gym equipment. Lastly, we'll be cutting a 9 inch portion out of this 2 by 3 by 8 of an inch piece of square tubing. This will be the body of our vise. Using the old tempering frame, I'll cut two pieces that are 5 and 3 quarters by at least 3 inches to make up the base of our vise, and then here an angled piece for support. We'll then move on to this piece of plate, which is 2 inches by 3 inches, and we'll be covering up one end of the 2 by 3 square tubing. I am drilling a size R hole so that I can tap this hole to a 10 millimeter thread, which is the thread of the knob that I have from that old piece of gym equipment. Once we're done tapping that, we'll go ahead and put our tap and die set up and move on to our piece of 2 by 3 rectangular tubing. We're going to be drilling two holes here, two 5 8 holes. These will accept our 5 8 bolts, which will act as our clamping mechanism. To do this, on my small drill press, I took my time, I worked up in increments of small bit sizes until we got to 5 8 of an inch. Using the back plate as a guide, we're going to be drilling a hole in the back part of our bracket to accept the square tubing. So in my case, these are pieces of 3 8 plate. So we went ahead and drilled our center hole, and then I drilled four mounting holes to be used to mount this to whatever work surface we'll be using it on. Then, using our 90 degree magnet, I set up this bracket, started welding on it. Don't judge me by my welds, I'm just using a flux core welder right here to stick metal together. A good thing we have grinders, because I can clean all these welds up. So I go ahead, I get the back plate welded onto the square tubing, and then we get the nuts welded onto the top of the square tubing to accept our 5 8 bolts. We then go and clean up our welds and cut some pieces of wood that will be utilized as our jaws. So at this point, it's pretty much done. Went ahead and got it all nice and painted black. Uh, unfortunately, after I got it painted, I realized that I missed a step. I like putting uh, a groove or an opening or a window on each side of my vise so that I can easily grab the jaws and move them in and out. So I run the paint, went in there with an angle grinder and cut this window and then went ahead and repainted it after I ground off the burrs. So I hope you guys like this quick and dirty video on how to make a knife vise. I didn't want to add any fluff into this because I know a lot of you guys getting into knife making are looking for concise data on how to make tools to get into the game. If you have any questions on this vise or other knife making tools, go ahead and throw them down in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. The rest of the footage in this video is going to be showing how this vise operates. I know most of it is pretty self-explanatory, but pictures and videos are worth a thousand words, especially when you're building something new. I always like to see how someone else's tools work. So while you're watching, go ahead and hit the like button below and on the bottom right hand corner of your screen, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. That will allow you to be notified on all the videos that I post in the near future. So from my garage in Texas, cheers to all you guys. Go ahead and get out in your garage, make some knives, and have some fun. Until the next video, I'll catch you all on the flip side.